What's going on everybody, C4 here, and welcome back to the Madden 20 Ratings Prediction Series. We are on the second to last episode where we are going to be previewing maybe the most talented roster in Madden next season. Going to be the Rams. You have the, uh, the most overpowered player and does really should be the most overpowered player given, you know, just how good he is and how overpowered some of the X Factor and Superstar abilities are in Mr. Aaron Donald. But beyond that, they are a very, very interesting roster. I think in sim like because you know i don't know how many people are going to want to pick the rams to reveal because they're already very very good in sim they're gonna be very very overpowered but when you actually control them you know the yes they got the talent but you got to work with the salaries and the contracts and make managing the cap which i think actually is going to make the rams kind of difficult like the philadelphia eagles where in real life you know they have pretty decent gms that can that can well obviously i'm more so saying decent with the rams gm philly has one of the best gms in the league in howie roseman in terms of cap manipulation and, and moving money around but in madden you just don't have that luxury so i think the rams will be kind of difficult to maintain at a high level while you're rebuilding them but their roster still is gonna be very very good so that's what i'm gonna try to preview today so we'll get the quarterbacks we're gonna give jared goff in 83 overall last season 4700 passing yards 32 touchdowns to 12 interceptions we all know my take on Jared Goff, but he still is a good quarterback. So I, I think we're not going to use our own personal bias to affect his rating too, too much. I think 83 is a good spot for a guy that can... I think he's more talented at executing what his coach is calling than what he is as an actual quarterback. But still, let's still name the game. You can't... You can just... You can be the greatest, most talented quarterback ever, but if you can't... Uh, mesh well with your coach and execute the plays your coach wants it's not gonna matter so i feel like golf somewhere in the middle there i think 83 is a good starting point and look at that they got bortles baby blake bortles do a career revival jumping to the backfield we have todd Gurley. now his obviously knee issues are a concern but for madden entering the game he should be i think the highest rated running back in the game we're giving him a 95 1800 yards 21 total touchdowns last year over the last two years he's been the most overpowered running back uh, in real life and i think that should be reflected upon release for madden 20 he's gonna have all the x factors he's an absolute problem and beyond that they drafted daryl henderson out of memphis the burner should have 93 94 speed somewhere in that territory to uh to carry the load and luckily enough for madden i mean they're probably they're gonna be no way to accurately represent todd Gurley's injury so you should be gucci on that front at wide receiver we have brandon cooks we're going to give it 88 overall, 1,200 yards, six total touchdowns last season. You get Rob Woods. We're going to give him an 87, 1,400 yards, seven touchdowns. You go, whoa, 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 C4. Woods had his better season. He should be higher than Cooks, but Cooks has been a little bit more dynamic, playing at a little bit higher level over the last two seasons than Woods, but still, you know, you're really, you're really complaining if you're going about one overall point. This is a dangerous wide receiver core. You throw in Cooper Cup. We're going to give an 84 overall. He got hurt last season. Before he got hurt, 600 yards, six total touchdowns. Um, I think obviously Woods ate into his snap. I, I think there might have been a legitimate shot though with all three of these guys to have 3,000 yard receivers on the Rams last season. You can't forget Josh Reynolds. Height, weight, speed guy, 6'3". We're going to hit him at 76. He had five touchdowns, 400 yards last season. And then, oof, you better hope they have Austin Prohl. Shout out to Pink Slips. Shout out to Pink Strips. All right, tight end. We have Higby and Everett both getting 79s overall. Pretty good tight ends. Uh, Higby's a little bit more balanced. Everett is, you know, one of those glorified wide receivers playing tight end. Both dynamic. Offensive line, you have Whitworth getting a 94. I'm pretty sure first team all pro was an Andrew Whitworth, so that uh, should be reflected as such. Uh, rest of the offensive line is, ugh. I mean, they might want to look at David Edwards and moving him into left guard, one of the guard spots. At center, Brian Allen. Oof. They did not anticipate Sullivan retiring, which he did. Uh, right guard, you got Austin Blythe, 82. Rob Havenstein, 82. Solid offensive line for the positions they have, like, legitimate established starters. But that inside is a little tender. Just a little tender. Got to start doing some crunches. Get that ab machine, that ab roller, baby. Jump to the defensive side. We got Michael Brockers. We're going to give him an 83 overall. Uh, you know, he's, he's like, pretty solid. Was actually really good before Aaron Donald came in. He's still been pretty damn good. It's just kind of, I think he, he's pretty good, maybe even slightly underrated, but it's just because Aaron Donald's so good. Brockers just looks average because he's being compared to a very, very good player. So we'll give him an 83. Right end, I mean, it's Aaron Donald. He's best player in football, I think. Pound for pound going into next season, I think he's best player in football. I mean, you could say Pat Mahomes coming off 50 touchdowns should be there. I, I think it's Aaron Donald. He's unstoppable. He's unblockable. He's a monster. He's getting a 99. D-tackle, we have Greg Gaines from Washington. I mean, again, another position they have no more than Adama can sue. I think Gaines has a good opportunity. He's a solid nose tackle, and with Brockers and Aaron Donald on either side, plus lots of talented outside linebacker setting the edge, I think Greg Gaines should establish himself as the starting nose for the Rams as a rookie. 
Uh, left side linebacker, you have Samson. Ibukon will give him an 80. They got Clay Matthews. He's aging, but still going to be a nice rotational outside linebacker with a 79. Inside, Corey Littleton, we gave him an 80 last year. 125 tackles, 3 interceptions, 13 pass breakups, 4 sacks, 9 TFLs. Now, that stat line is ridiculous. Watching him play, you know, he's he's good. He, he's not as good as his stats led you to believe, but he's still really good. I think 80 is a salt spot. I think he's probably, you know, top 15 linebacker in the National Football League for inside linebackers. And our outside linebacker, we have Dante Fowler. I'm telling you right now, if you move him to defensive end, his rating's going to be like an 83-84. So look for him as a potential trade target. He's only on a one-year deal with the Rams. Uh, but 78, because he has, you know, he's he's a defensive end. His cover stats are pretty garbage. But like I said, I'm pretty sure if he moved him to DN right now, he's going to go 83. He's, he's really productive. And uh, really came on, you know, down that stretch, last four or five weeks for the Rams. He was almost, he was probably the second best player on the defensive side of the ball. He was really good, and I think single-handedly won them. It was one game, man. He had like two fumbles, a bunch of sacks. He was ridiculous. Jumping in the secondary, we got Keep to leap. We're going to give him an 85 overall. Nickel will be calling real solid. Nickel, 84. Marcus Peters, who had three interceptions, eight pass, pass breakups last year. He'll get an 84. I love the pick of David Long out of Michigan. I think he's going to be a nice little guy that you can look at developing, especially with the aging to leave. I think a guy like Long could step in and fill his shoes if you give him enough time to develop. At free safety, bringing in the veteran in Eric Weddle. He's an 83. And at strong safety, one of the best strong safeties in football. Uh, we have John Johnson the third, Chopper style. I'll never forget that. That was such that was awesome when he picked up Drew Brees. Uh, just, you know, a little, still a little salty from that loss between the Eagles and Saints. We were going John Johnson in 87 last season, four interceptions, 11 pass breakups. And I think 120 total tackles. He's a beast. And they drafted Taylor Rapp out of Washington. I love that selection. So you'll be interested to see how they use both these players. A lot of three safety looks, probably. Legatron just gets an 82. Hecker, highest punter in the game, gets an 86. So there you go, guys. Those are my rating predictions here for Madden 24. The Rams, as always, if you agree or disagree with any rating you decide today, let me know in the comment section below. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Madden 20 season is just starting to get it's starting to get warmed up. It's starting to get a little bit tenderoni. Make sure you subscribe. You stick along for the ride. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4. Same peace out.